<laughs> Eva DuVernay and Netflix bosses are seeking the dismissal of prosecutors um, Linda Fairstein's lawsuit against their TV series When They See Us. Um, she's saying they defamed her, basically. Um, she alleges that the four-part show was defamatory. According to Deadline.com, DuVernay and Netflix executives are citing the protection of the U.S. First Amendment of dismissal. Yeah. First of all, I even feel like a lawsuit is even nonsense. Because, to be honest, the whole series was telling the story from their own perspective. Of course, they're not going to glorify you. They're not going to portray you as a... Uh, I get the fact that she feels like the way the, um, the way the whole series portrayed her was in a negative light. But in this story that is being told, you are the antagonist. Nobody's going to say, oh, this is the human side. Or nobody's going to tell the story of how, when she was done persecuting, she went up to her children and I she made the them question good I want to ask her So I don't understand why mm -hmm. she's even... If you say you are not the antagonist and they didn't... Um, um, this uh, movie you portrayed properly. you wrongly. What role did you play as the prosecutor in charge of this case? What role did you play to find out if these young boys, because they were children at the point, yeah. if they were innocent, what role did you play? Come out to tell us that. Maybe you can exonerate yourself. But if you cannot give us that side of the story, because usually they tell you there are two, three sides of the story, basically. So let's yeah. say we've seen one side, and let's agree that this one side is based on the stories that the boys and the oh, family of the boys are telling, right? If you're saying you did something else that makes you a good person or a good prosecutor, come out and tell your own story. Or shoot your own film. Right. I think Tell the major own, um, thing that even made her look like a terrible person was when she held the 14-year-old boy without um, the consent of his parents, parents or yeah. them being present yeah. there and all of that. So if you actually did that, you've already done something wrong. So we have every right to paint you whichever way we want to paint I think it's even very funny because you. when this case, when the case was for, when they were first prosecuted, she took pride in the fact that she was the prosecutor in charge of the case. She took pride of that case. Mm -hmm. When everything now fell apart, and then it was revealed that you played a huge role in putting in putting these boys in prison unfairly, you're boys. now saying, you're crying foul, you're saying that you were portrayed in a different light. Meanwhile, when it was still like they were guilty, you were very happy with yourself and you were content in what you did. I think it's also, um, it still boils down to the fact that the way Nollywood, um, Hollywood, <laughs> <laughs> the way hey, Hollywood plays out narratives, especially when they want to talk about injustice against black people, sometimes when the way they tell their stories, they always humanize the antagonist. For instance, maybe the person that shot the black kid, they would tell the story in such a way that we see the human angle of the antagonist. They would tell you that it was a mental health issue. But this was, she was portrayed as somebody that knew what she was doing and, you know, she, the way she was portrayed, you know that mm -mm, there was a racial bias. Um, in what she did. So I think that that is the reason why she's coming out to say that oh, she was defamed. Probably she expected that the way that they would have told the story, they would have told it in a light, in a way that she was portrayed in I, a I just can't wait for this thing to be true now, Fabric. But obviously, their skin color came to play of course in it this did. case. It's and um, that's something that you need to accept. That is something that is still going on in America, as we're, we're still yeah. seeing with yeah. Aubrey. Um, what's his first name again? Ahmad, Ahmad, Ahmad Aubrey. Aubrey. Yeah, so we're still seeing that happening in America. So we need to stop acting like we're ignorant of the fact yeah. that we have racial crimes going yeah. on. And, and people, are, people are more scared of being called racist than actually doing racist stuff. So mm. it's like when you label me a racist, ah, I'll but start I, have, I have a stand out. on but that, but I don't know how, how it is to say it on TV, but I'll tell you guys after the show. <laughs>